Coming up on First News at 5, the ceasefire between Israel and Hamas has begun and 24 hostages are now heading home. We'll have the latest. And some good news concerning coming from producers regarding this year's corn harvest. And we've had a very cold morning, some sub-zero chill, but now the next story will be gusty winds on the way. First News at 5 starts right now. The first wave of hostages to be released as part of the truce between Israel and Hamas are safely out of Gaza and making their way back to their families. Israeli authorities confirmed that two dozen women and children passed through the Gaza border after being turned over to the Red Cross this morning. However, no Americans were among them. Laura Aguirre has more. The first batch of hostages, thank God, have been released from Hamas's hell dungeons are in the hands of Israeli special forces. It's a confirmation that's had Israel and much of the world holding its breath. 24 Hamas held hostages, 13 Israelis, 10 Thai nationals and one Filipino citizen are now free. The group passed from southern Gaza through Egypt's Rafah crossing, escorted by the Red Cross Friday morning, on their way back to Israel and reunions with family members. They all look very tired, very scared, and I really want them to, to sleep in their beds already tonight. The U.S. worked closely on the Israel-Hamas exchange deal along with Qatar and Egypt. We expect more hostages to be released tomorrow and more the day after, and more the day after that. This long-awaited batch of releases comes hours after an agreed-upon pause in the fighting between Israeli forces and Hamas. In return Friday, Israeli authorities agreed to release 39 Palestinian prisoners toward a total of 150 as part of the current four-day exchange deal. In total, 50 hostages held by Hamas are expected to be freed in the same time period. Definitely a fantastic first step. That still leaves 215 hostages inside the Gaza Strip, and none of us here are free until all of them are free. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Mana police say a man shot last week has died. They say Ansu Kamara was shot on November 17th. A Ward County judge had issued an arrest warrant for Quantre Mercier for attempted murder, but now the state's attorney's office will review the charges. Turning now to the weather, it was quite cold this morning. Boy, I don't know, was it ever right? The biggest chill we've had so far this winter season uh, for most areas, although we did have some colder areas here after that snowstorm in October. 